Yo, what's going on? What's going on, guys? Dex here, bringing you back with the manga. And today's uh, video is gonna be different. It's not gonna be a manga haul, or which? Oh, yeah. Oh, I only have like one manga manga book that I bought recently today, but that's gonna be like as soon as this um, this thing is done. So today's uh, video is gonna be more about um, my favorite manga artist, Inuo Asano, which um, to me personally. Uh, I really, uh, I don't know, this might be a bit corny, but I really do have like some sort of connection between um, his work and the stories that he tells really, really, really are good. But um, this video is gonna be about me just showing you all of the work that I have from him and uh, just writing them from like least to greatest, starting from least. And so, in a good way. <laughs> all right, my least, favorite that I have from him would be um uh what a wonderful <laughs> there you go what a wonderful world volumes one and volume dos I only say this because um the whole manga series series of the what a wonderful world it's pretty much consists of uh small stories telling about different people how um in my personal take uh how they all somehow managed to see reality again even when the world is pretty much screwed up you know like there there can be god forbid like a volcano erupting while you're walking to your house but you're like hey at least i'm gonna die in my house or some i don't know this this that might be a wrong explanation, but overall, I really didn't, uh, I, did, I really didn't, uh, I don't want to say like, but I did give it a read. I reread it like two times and I still have the same, uh, mind to it. So this is going to be a seven out of 10. Please don't hit. <laughs> All right. Next up is one that I picked up, uh, just this week actually that came to my mail is Inejigahara holograph 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 sorry this one uh this one this one was very interesting um takes the concept of uh quote-unquote monster in the sewers um and so the story behind it to me is that we all tend to hide what scares us the most in the most outrageous places. With that being said, um, now just thinking about it, uh, just, I'm just gonna open up random random pages. Just from this, it just brings to mind that humans, human beings tend to be scared of things that don't seem right to us. Whenever it's a different color of the same object that we see every day or just the thought of something being under under something brings a question like should we sh should we try to stop it or should we try to kill it or whatever but based based on this uh this was supposed to be a scary uh little story and uh, nothing too scary but I really, really did love the art. I re always do. And so, yeah. This. <sighs> 7 out of 10. I'm sorry. <laughs> Please don't hate me. Alright. We're getting to the good part. Alright. Um, Alright, this was a really hard choice. But the next stop is Solonen. This one, I really enjoyed because, one, I'm really into music. Um, bae. um, and two, the story really captivated the characters and the overgrowth of the main character. Just, uh, just a thought of not moving on, but still having the, the strength to keep a memory that's already dead into one's mind. That's just my take. But the story, uh, in my opinion, was really good. 
some of the panels in my opinion weren't really necessary with like more dialogue but yeah i really enjoyed the main character she was awesome i love how she uh changed as soon as um i don't want to spoil anything but <laughs> when things went downhill she managed to bring herself back to reality and carry on the legacy of the band and something meaningful meaningful a guitar <laughs> all right all right next up yep you guessed it that's it a girl on the shore no no i did not <laughs> only read it because of the <laughs> partial <laughs> so oh i'm just gonna have the uh fine pages but overall this takes place uh, in a middle school i believe in the growth of two children just trying to live out adulthood and just trying to find what it means to be a grown-up you know not many people experience experience things that these characters have but oh man <laughs> Apart from all the uh, the sexual things here, I really did enjoy the the story. Not only because of the story behind his brother, but because of just I don't know. Just I, don't, I guess from all of In Inuo's um, work, it's more about characters either moving on or trying to still persevere. Of being the same character if that makes any sense <gasps> just trying to be who you are instead of people trying to change you that's all in a good way see like I love the ending because it just uh, kind of contradicts about what he was trying to do I my opinion he uh, wanted to find someone to love even if the person didn't love him. So he did all he could just to make her happy. But in the end, things went downhill for her. And that is Girl on the Shore. And plus, I really love the, uh, the concept of finding anything uh, in the sea unexpectedly. Unexpectedly. Just pretty cool. All right. Oh, all right. Uh, this is the last work I have from him, but uh, a little bonus because yesterday was spooky ass hour uh, they did have a Halloween um, thing I picked up Shiver it was one of the free comics that they were releasing and I'm like hey can I have this <laughs> uh, I'm not too I'm, I don't really read this type of manga but if I should, I should. It's supposed to be scary and the arts, the arts, the art, it does look really old, but oh man, oh man, them shades are, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oof. But yeah, I've never really uh, read anything like this, but I will give it a go. And, <laughs> uh blood blockage battlefront oh my god i really really enjoy the uh, anime it's, it was so awesome i just i'm just really curious about how um the anime and the manga contradict each other and how they're uh similar and different etc but as what i've seen from it kind of had kind of kind of has its similarities and the art isn't doesn't look really special but hopefully uh, I enjoy it because I love everything about the anime. Intro, outro songs are beautiful. <laughs> okay, and I believe this is, uh, if I'm wrong, please let me know. <laughs> uh, Inuo Zasano's uh, most like popular and known work. Boom.
Good night. Pun pun pun. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. What can what can I say about this? This. Uh, I've read. Um, no no. I've seen a video about um, the person who uh, translates. I believe. I I, I forgot her name. Like Diaz. Pa 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 Di I don't know something like that. And it's pretty much about how um, she was describing Eno as like depressed and how uh, you can still manage to find friends even when you don't want to or something like that but in my opinion it's more about um uh pun pun being a character that after everything he's been through the changes of who he is started to affect on how he was thinking as an a grown a growing adult just facing reality from a different perspective and I am going to be careful not to show any of the ta-ta-ta. Yeah. But overall, I, I feel like uh, Pun Pun is the type of kid who uh, isn't, isn't um, or doesn't want to be a person to open up to anyone. Or, uh, I don't know how. It's Ooh. <laughs> Sad, dude. It took me fucking... If I can be honest, yeah, this took me like 15 minutes just to do it. And I don't know why I wasted my time. Ha ha ha. But yeah, overall, this um, manga was pretty much my 2017 most anticipating manga that I was waiting for. I was always just looking at Barnes and online like, damn it, I need it now. And so, um, what I was told... <laughs> That I actually um, have a similar traits of the uncle. Story-wise, not personal-wise. <laughs> ah, dang it. But yeah, um, Good Night Pun Pun was an amazing story. I really enjoyed it. Just to speed up the process a little bit. I'm not too sure if you guys... I've seen it in your local bookstore, uh, but if you're at, at that age, 17 or 18, please uh, pick it up. But if you're, there you go. But if you're um, more in the in the young audience, I I think you should just. Uh, wait until you're a bit older because my philosophy is um being an adult shouldn't be rushed uh when you find things online that um consist of adult um content i don't believe uh, the younger audience should have any way or form of seeing it because with that it affects the mind of those and um makes growing up uh the process of growing up fast and i think that's what happens what happened here in goodnight pump pump you can see the development of someone who thought hey i'm gonna go in space to save humanity to facing reality in a in a short second and overall i really 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 love goodnight pump pump and whenever i do have the chance i i reread the story it's, it's just so beautiful. Ah, please don't hit me. I really don't like opening my mangas like this. But yeah. And that, my friends, that's, I'm going to leave you off there. Ah, hopefully this can be the, the, the cover. But yeah, um, thank you so much for watching. Please, if you liked it, uh, subscribe for more. Please uh, give that like a <laughs> I don't know what to speak how to speak but yeah if you enjoyed it please leave a comment tell me uh what should I what should I improve on what should I do because I'm not rich but I'm not poor and I can uh, buy mangas whenever I do have the time but because of my schedule I don't really have the time but whenever I do I sit bring out the bring out the content to you all 
to all of you. But yeah, um, it's been Dex signing out.